Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. All right, we have a lot of things on our quest log. And we haven't even looked at the map to see if there are any little side mission quests that we need to work on. So let's see. Um, we are here. Look at our map and see if there's anything like this. We've got a quest here. Now, if I track that quest, it'll put it in my log. I'm uh, checking to make sure. No more. Let's see what we got at Hogsmeade. That's purchasing a broom. Okay. Now let's go back to this. Oh, uh, well, we're gonna wanna go there. As soon as we're done with this assignment, we're gonna go there so we can get a little more. So I was looking at all the things that we need to do to 100% achieve this on our STEAM achievements and uh, not sure if that's going to happen. There's a lot. We'll see. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. to see you again. Revelio. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Swish and flick. I think it's an advanced spell, though they teach it in first year. Feel free to practice them. Leviosa here in the greenhouse. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. Okay. It'll be handy on the Merlin Trials. Almost got all the spells. Sweet.
Okay. I just want to take a gander at this green hat. What's... Uh, well, I've been here. Revelio. Why do we even have flies? Yeah. I feel like I've been here. The best way to learn how to fly. Can I get those? Revelio. No chomping cabbages. That's a bummer. All right. Now that we're done with Wingardium Leviosa, let's go get a little more. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Wasn't this all a charm to die? Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. That's it, warm. Revelio. Oh, a Dedalian chest. Alien key. I hear, I hear it. Akio. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in mid-air. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Revelio. All right. No, nope. I don't see it. The Dalian key. I'm not walking all the way down there and getting lost. that later how would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo once you've completed the necessary tasks come and find me in the greenhouse oh, goodness hello again mr. moon oh I was hoping to see you again my young friend uh, Gladwin moon a Hogwarts caretaker at your service First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. No, 
Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed. Which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <laughs> yes! Terrifying Rebellion. creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play. Some jackanapes used the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Hello, Hamora. Alright, where to stick this? I think I'm gonna have to spend a talent to get that last group of, uh... Spell slots. There we go. Let's see, let's... Where's my little more spell? Huh. It's just there, huh? Okay. Alohomora. Oh, good.
Nope, nope, nope. I mean, as soon as I figure out what I'm supposed to do... Oh, do them at the same time. Gotcha. Well done! You're in! Remember, Use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Revelio. Alohomora. Dot has been asking for you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When do you manage to come by? I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of, our, of your plants, the more fragrant ones. Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. Professor's bedroom, huh? Must be... <sighs> Our herbolo herbology teacher. <sighs> Professor Fig, I am receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent Stoogee penalty in Quidditch, which in my humble opinion has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As of the topic of your recent letter, we are at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns, and inasmuch as times allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the natter matter is looked into, schedule permitting. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my se secretary and secure seats for yourself and the guests in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Ferris Spavin, Minister of Magic. Sounds like, uh... The ministry hasn't changed at all. Revelio. We can't do level two locks, okay. Another Dedalian. The staff, the Hogwarts house elves, do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, the only only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby 
an abominable ringing in the ears for the rest of the day. I expect that the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Revenue! Sounds like something Peeves would do. the key moving. They didn't move very far, did it? Hello, Hamora. Revelio. More things to read. My darling Abraham, you would be overjoyed to know that the local children have taken to playing gobstones in the street just outside of your study window. They're quite charming, I must say. I noticed the youngest was without her own set of gobstones, so I lent her one of yours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I do hope things are going well at the castle. I'm relieved that you arrived safely. Dreadful story about the gentleman from the ministry. Was he really traveling with Eleazar? And a student. Simply dreadful. Do write when you have a moment. I'm most eager to hear of your stories of this year's Summoner's Court participants. Your students so adore you, my dear. With love, M. Revenue. I feel like I'll be back here though. Since they're level too long, I can't seem to get in them. Revenue. coming, she's coming. Revelio. Revelio. Professor, turn around.
your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Arcanite. Revelio. Boris the Bewildered. This statue of a lost-looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered has perplexed students for ages. Is he coming or going? Is he the beginning of a journey or the, at the end or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. It's another Dedalian key. There's what Lesser ran off to. Revelio. That had what trickery are you up to? Darn it. That's what I get for collecting pages. Oh, try again. Should stop being so greedy. And now I'm curious, do all the doors and things reset? Can I Petrificus Totalis them? Hmm. We're going to find out. Revelio. Appears as if all of my collecting is saved. No, I cannot Petrificus Totalis them. teachers that were here. Jewel-encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this is the shell of a firecraft native to Fiji. However, those in the know, spirits bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When this, his chateau was overrun by Nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. There were two professors there. Revelio. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Yeah, I wouldn't know how you would do this with a keyboard, for sure. They're saying that Ramrock's lawyers are preparing for a rebellion. Rude. Always mucking about, stirring up trouble. Revelio. If the ministry would allow them to have one. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Alohomora.
prefix bathroom features a swimming pool sized bathtub that can be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. Oh no, they're moving. Interesting. Revenio. Revenio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before. Is there any students in the hospital wing on account of my venomous tentacula? Not at the moment, no. Plenty of heroes and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Hogwarts huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff healing. this season. Nurse Noreen Hufflepuff? Bailey. Not Ravenclaw? Redacted by order I know Professor when Black, I see a age winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. The patient was injured during not a Quidditch year, match, anyway. though. My professional opinion. I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. Redacted by myself. order Professor Black hardly what counts as an injury. In fact, what if was anyone what? was injured... I thought I heard something. It was me as the do not. Perhaps not. You know what? We'll worry that anyway, later. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human being. Revelio. Also, a unicorn fountain. A majestic unicorn fountain gives an air of serenity and calm up to the hospital wing at Hogwarts. The golden tip. Rather a lot like life. Isn't it? Oh, nice. Alright. Let's just get out of here. I suppose we should. Uh oh. They hit the banister. Revenio. I would you are to be remanded at once. That's alright. I still keep the uh, demi guys moons. The quest should be over.
no. Revelio. So we start here, and now we gotta make our way back. Gear slots are full, of course they are. Touching the chamber pot, that's for sure. Revenue. Off on another adventure, are we? Okay, well, since we're here, spider, eight, eight or ten meters. Make sure they stay there. Uh, three plus two, five. I need nine. Revelio. Well, yeah, I don't have any gear slots. This, though, is a painting. Let's go find a slot. get down the stairs if you're down right there, so maybe we'll make you not. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not 
every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Revelio. Okay. Now, I have a lot of assignments to do. I do need to get to Hogsmeade, though, because... Um... Oh, first let's go into... Let's go into the Room of Requirements. Get all of our gear identified. And see if there's anything worth picking. Okay, now that we've done all that, let us go into the gear and upgrade as necessary. Interesting. Let's go with this. So many different one handles to choose from. Let's go with that one. All right, now that we've done that, there is one in here. Uh, 
Let's go to Ogs Main. Alright. We're only going to have time to, you know, sell all our stuff and buy a broom upgrade, I think. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? I don't know. Can I get into this building? Revelio. Nope, that's a level three lock. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Let me know if there's anything... Revelio. Alright, I mean, we are shopping, so... There was a herbology... Grow and harvest flux weed. Okay. Collect troll bogies. Okay, so we will be doing shopping. Level two lock. Revelio. Level two. Level two. Mine now, dummy guys. Well, probably in a building. Nips in the heart, if you please. Are expensive, you know. So hmm. Welcome to the Rebellion. Any empty seat is yours. I'll take that. Rebellion. a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. What are we looking for today? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, half of Oxmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Without the information you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. 
Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've already begun work on another upgrade, more difficult to perfect than the last. I wondered, would you be interested in joining forces again? There's another course near Irondale that Miss Reyes has mastered. If you were to test this first upgrade there, it may help me as I develop the next. Oh, you'll consider it, won't you? What more can you tell me about the next course? It's just a jaunt from here, south of Oxmead. Beautiful mountain views. The course was designed to test flyer stamina. Some of your classmates mentioned they were headed there, eager to see what Imelda has in store. A bit surprising, considering many of them expressed reticence at the idea of racing against her at all. I hope that won't deter you, and you'll give the course a go. At least think on it. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. That was what automatically adds it, huh? Revelio. Off to the races then. No, not off to the races. What's wrong with this door? Confringo. Revelio. That's a little three lot. All right. Finally. Alohomora. Mine now, Demi God. Revelio. Rebellion. Alohomora. Three Broomsticks private room. The Three Broomsticks private room is secluded space off the main room of the pub. Hogwarts professors appreciate having a separate area in which to gather and to avoid encountering students. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the students appreciate their professors having a separate area as well. Revelio. Alohomora.
Revelio. Revelio. No, it's too big of a walk, I think. All right. I think that's where we're going to end today. Um, hope you had fun. Um, see you next time.